It was the late 1950s to 1960s and the post office in Sherwood Content Trelawney was a meeting place. It was a place where people who um, have issues to, uh, to deal with uh, the public and to make announcements, they would uh, use that as a platform because it was uh, on a high elevation. We had about eight or nine steps to, from this road surface to go up to go up to the top of the, uh, the, the, the level where they would stand and um, make their announcements or make their um, speech. Now, there were other organizations uh, other than politicians who used that uh, platform to keep meetings. Any organization, local organizations, that had uh, issues to discuss uh, with the villagers they would um, they would um, announce it in the village and uh, their time of uh, meeting they would uh, congregate there and use that as a as a base to from which to speak uh, tell me about the regular post office business well, post office opens and um, opens at 8:30 to 9 a.m. Uh, Monday to Friday, and there was a resident uh, postmistress. She uh, always is there. That's her job to uh, run the post office. And uh, people would go in from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. to collect their mails. But if someone was passing and uh, didn't know there was mail there, the postmistress would call him off the street and say, come and get your mail. You have mail. And so they would go and uh, have their mail delivered to them. And uh, that was part of uh, running the, the, the post office business. And uh, it would be closed at 5 p.m. sharp each day, business can, day. Can you tell me a little bit about the postmistress? The postmistress was uh, a person who was not uh, a native uh, Sherwood person, but uh, became um, uh, a citizen of Sherwood by marriage because she was married to a, a minister of the church in Sherwood. And uh, so she became uh, part of the church com community and the community as a whole very quiet uh, person and uh, she had her family right there after uh, she was married she began to have a family and so and she was a very quiet unassuming lady uh, sort of a light-skinned lady very unassuming can you explain the process of a telegram delivery well, telegrams were sent uh, to the post office um, on a regular basis, I should say, because people who uh, have their relatives abroad or in other areas of uh, the country in Jamaica, they would um, send a telegram to their relatives and share it whenever they have uh, an emergency. A telegram always um, indicates that uh, someone is having an emergency and they want to uh, their relatives to be informed uh, of this emergency so they could uh, uh, have their issues uh, or their emergency resolved uh, with their relatives knowing of their situation. Now there was one lady who delivered uh, the telegram. She was like a resident uh, telegram uh, person who takes a telegram from the office. I think she was uh, commissioned by the postmistress to do this job and uh, she would, t no matter what time of day or night, she would be called upon to take the telegram to wherever it is in the village that telegram was to be delivered and usually uh, it, uh, the telegram would have to be delivered uh, before the next day. And so she would go, she had to walk all night, she would walk all night 
until she got it delivered. She would get a receipt. She'd uh, get a fee for it from the person who would uh, who could collect the telegram, and then she would return to the post office to show the receipt to prove that she had delivered the telegram. What was the business of the parochial office? Parochial office was um, occupied by the uh, uh, parochial board and the parish council. They both um, had their business uh, done there, and this was uh, the business of maintaining roads, um, issuing um, uh, peace work to villagers, mainly men and women also. So there were duties that women do that was uh, issued by the post office, that by the uh, parochial office. And uh, so they would have a, a time set, maybe three or four weeks after they were, they were issued a, a duty to, to carry out, then they would have a, a pay payday. And that payday, all the people who were issued uh, work to do, they would congregate at that office and there would be a paymaster we call him the paymaster. It comes to the pay bill, and everyone would get their um, their money in cash because that time they didn't pay by check. So everyone would get their pay in cash at that time for the work they they've done. But before that part uh, came about, the um, parish council or the parochial board would send out uh, people in in in, in that case they call them headmen, the headman to inspect the work that was issued and the headman used to ride on a horse and go into the interior wherever the work was issued. He would go there and see that the work was done and was done satisfactorily. Um, talk about mm, the process of breaking stones for the roadway. Well this process was done mainly by women. Women would uh, throw big boulders out close to the roadway. Some people, because they live so close to the roadway, they break them up in the, inside their property because it wouldn't be far from the roadway to get to the trucks when the trucks come around to collect it. So um, they would break all these big stones and break them into very fine, very small stones to be used on the roadway to maintain the road for uh, traffic to use safely and uh, in some cases when they have new roads that they're, uh, they're uh, building they would use these same people to make stones to cover the surface of the new roads also.